All right, so I wanted to dive into this quote that's going around that, to be honest, is kind of shocking. That's from a high up Sony executive talking about the PlayStation 5 and the future of the PlayStation 5. And if you haven't heard it, essentially this Sony representative and high up person said that the PS5, it's in its latter stages of life or another translation because it's being translated in English or it's later half. Um, and I wanted to give my reaction to it. Uh, the internet hasn't been super kind to it. And I think that makes a lot of sense. And I find this very confusing and puzzling and frustrating for several different reasons, but three ones in particular. And so let's dive into why I think that this quote is insane. So first off, and I think the most obvious is so many people don't have a PS5. So a lot of this is coming down to from my understanding is Sony's a business. They want to make money. The PS5 this year didn't sell as well as they thought it did. So the executives are now thinking, oh, it's because people need a new console. That's how we'll make money. To which I want to say people don't even have this console yet. There's so many people I know who are fans of PlayStation who don't have a PS5 yet for multiple reasons, which I'll get into in the end of this video. But I feel like there are just so many people who haven't got a chance to even play this console yet that it's crazy we're talking about it being in the latter stages or latter half of its life um that went went on at the beginning with it being released during 2020 and all of the kerfuffle that that was but then sony making the wildly ridiculous decision to mostly only sell it online to quote unquote help the spread of whatever that they then pretty much left it to scalpers to buying most of the consoles for the first two years where you couldn't get your hands on a PlayStation 5 until like 2023. I started seeing them in stores finally because Sony made the weird decision to do that. And so they sold lots of consoles, but it didn't go to many gamers that I knew lots of people who desperately wanted a PS5 and couldn't get one. They were so impossible to find. And so I still think there are so many gamers out there who are still playing the PS4 or the PS4 Pro who are waiting to move to the PS5. And it's not because they're late to the game. It's because the console hasn't been readily available until really recently. But then second, and I think to me, the biggest reason why this makes no sense is that it feels like we have no games for this thing. Like we've gotten some third party ones yet, and we've gotten some first party ones that have been great. We've gotten things like God of War, we've gotten Spider-Man, we got Ratchet and Clank. Um, we got uh, some remasters from The Last of Us. But aside from that, we haven't got very many Sony exclusive PS5 games that have only come out on the PS5 that up until very recently, all of the games they're making also released on the PS4. So it feels like we've just finally entered into where the PS5 is the console now. And they're saying it's in its latter half. I don't understand that at all. I feel like there's been a drought of games. We've gotten some really great games, but games take so long to develop now that it feels like we don't, like we were just getting started. That's honestly what it feels like. It feels like um, how the PS4 felt in its first two years of it existing. That's how the PS5 feels, except it's like four years into it now. And so I just don't understand how they can even be thinking about moving to the next console generation when we have barely gotten any games for the current one. Um, that I feel like there are so many fans waiting to just even see enough games released that they can justify buying it, um, but they don't. And so that's honestly kind of baffling to me. And along with that, a lot of people were holding out hoping that a slim version would cost a bit cheaper because 500 bucks for a console during the economy we're in right now is a lot for people. Um, and in my opinion, it's too much. I think it should be back down to around the 400 range. Um, and that hasn't happened. And so you've got all these people who in order to drop $500 need like a really good reason to do it. And they still don't have a big enough catalog yet to feel like they're missing out and need to get it. The most I've seen people feel like they're missing out on was actually Spider-Man 2, where I know a lot of people got PS5s for Spider-Man 2 specifically. But outside of that, I had many people have not felt the need to rush out and buy these things because there simply aren't enough games only coming out on the PS5 to justify buying it. And then lastly, is I personally don't feel like we currently need something better. That I feel like there is a lot of hardware that is still being untapped in this thing. And that most of the games still look like just really good 
PS4 games that I don't feel like we've pushed it to its limits where it's now like, oh, we actually need something new. I don't fully, and I understand it's pretty much just to make money, but I don't get it. I don't get how something like the Switch has been working so hard to push that console to its limits and releasing high quality games. And now it's like, okay, we need to make something new because we've pushed this for too long. It's time to upgrade. I don't think the PS5 has gotten there yet. It hasn't justified a reason to have a new console. In my opinion, it hasn't even justified having a PS5 Pro yet, where I don't even know what they would add to it. Um, for example, you look at the PS4, like the prime example is look at the Last of Us Remastered that initially came out in the early stage of the uh, early stages of the PS4, and then look at the Last of Us Part Two. The difference between those games is massive. And you could tell when The Last of Us Part Two came out that you were like, oh yeah, this is definitely it pushing this console to its max and we need a new one. That the PS5 hasn't even remotely gotten close to there yet. And so to discuss releasing a PS6 and that this thing is in the latter stages of its life just make no sense to me at all. But with that being said, I wanna know what you guys think. So head down in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts. Um, does this worry you at all? Um, does the latter half concern you? I know that people saying that the translation, the latter half concerns them less, but even so that means you've got four years of the PS5 left and then they'll have a new console. And just think about what the last four years have been like and be like, there hasn't really been much released that to imagine another four years that's kind of like that spooks me it really does not feel like enough time especially considering we don't even have release dates for things like wolverine that we know naughty dog is working on more games but we don't even know what they are um that there is no release date for a bunch of these big games people are waiting for that it feels like we're not going to be given much outside of third-party games for the rest of this console's life um but let me know in the comment section down below like comment subscribe all that junk and I will see you guys in the next one.